Previously on, Tim plays a game. Here with World's End Club. Seriously, where was that earlier? Do it. My name is Mike. I'm mean, taking control of humanity. That's why I had to strip humanity of their emotions. That's when I faced a phenomenon that couldn't be explained. There was a group of children that for whatever reason didn't completely lose their emotions. That's what you're having a problem with? You seized the financial institutions, stole military information, built freaking Death Stars, but the group of children is the one that confounds you. <laughs> you all have a choice to make. Become shepherds and make human sheepification a reality. Or... Everyone dies. <laughs> Alright, kill them off. Well, that's a lot of stuff to drop on some ten-year-olds. All right, and we're back. Are your repairs finished, Mr. Pochi? Yeah. Nyoro fixed me up. <laughs> she fixed him normal. up. <laughs> well, actually, oh, God. I feel better than before. Would have loved to have been a fly on the walls during that operation. Thanks, Nyoro. Quit it. You don't need to thank me. It was all my fault. Humankind being trapped underground. All the difficult things you guys went through. What are you saying? It's not your fault, it's, it's your, your dad's fault. fault. <laughs> You're just related to the tor the horrible person who ruined humanity. Yeah, it's got <laughs> nothing to do with you. It does. My dad's the one who made Mike. Okay, so what, you're guilty by association? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? There's no need for you to feel responsible at all. They're right. You guys... I'm you so didn't sorry. do anything wrong. Look, you don't need to apologize. But if my dad hadn't made Mike, none of us are blaming your dad either. I'm blaming your dad. Yup, yup. <laughs> if your dad wasn't around, then Yoro, the world's cutest girl, would never have been born. Okay, dude, you're not helping the situation. Eh? <laughs> you're asking Yoro out at a time like yeah. this? Yeah, <laughs> damn. Oh, I've been waiting this whole- I've been waiting for the perfect moment, and it's just not happening. <laughs> well, if you're waiting all month for that perfect moment, and it's just not coming, so I just gotta make something happen. Huh? You like Nero too? No, not that. <laughs> oh, you don't? Can we not do this well, right now? <laughs> World is ending. <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if Nero's dad, the scientist, hadn't existed, then neither would I. Like the scientist created Mike, who then created me. <sighs> Did you know about my dad? So Nero's dad built her a boyfriend. Nice. <laughs> no. All I knew. There you go, was honey. I built you a boyfriend. Was a genius scientist <laughs> from Japan. I had no idea. It was he's Nero's total. Dad. He's total Moe. So <laughs> you should like that. You should have fun with that. <laughs> don't have too much fun with it. So you don't know where my dad is? No. Nope, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> no idea where your dad is. Continue the to have daddy issues, sure please. That the scientist <laughs> had nothing but good intentions when he created Mike. Now that you mention it, Mike said something like that. He tried to impede me. <sighs> How dare he impede me? Hey, Dad, what are you researching? He tried to impede me, so I impeded him. Daddy is researching artificial intelligence. AI. Seriously, you're dragging this memory up now? This AI is <laughs> Oh yeah, he was super smart. into AI. Did I so, not did I not mention that earlier? I really should have mentioned that to begin with. That was like his major. Once it's complete, we'll be able to help lots of sick and starving people. Plus, and And we can take the bad ones and put them underground and make them lose emotions. Probably Doesn't that sound like fun, huh? <laughs> now, why don't you go play outside? And with that, <laughs> there will be no more wars on Earth. Everyone will be able to lead happy lives. Dad, you're so smart. <laughs> Yoro's dad developed Mike for the sake of humanity. Totally, that's what we're saying. Mike is the bad one. Yes, the bad guy is the bad one. Are you sure? I want to suck that the person who gun put people good. underground and had most of them die. Are you sure about that? Speaking of. What's our reply to Mike gonna be? Go screw yourself, maybe? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? There's no way we will become shepherds. Oh, okay. Dar oh, yeah, 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 we're not gonna become shepherds. There's no way. I mean, who wants to live? And we're not gonna annihilate 
humanity! Well, we did. We had two options. <laughs> We've got to choose the third option. Option three. None of the above. <laughs> we'll do both. Kill us all and become... Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Mike, we've got to... All together! Damn straight! Take that sucker out! Alright, we're totally gonna freaking... Alright, we're gonna anime this all the way. <laughs> Going full anime here. Thanks, you guys. Hey, hey. It's no time for tears. But... You like it when I smile. That's what you said. Right, Nioro? Same for me. Cool. So just smile, okay? You look so- you're so pretty when you smile. <laughs> See, it doesn't feel too good, does it? <laughs> okay, you're doing the opposite of smiling right now, and you're starting to bum me out. Okay, let's try to get through this as fast as we can, talk to everyone. Let's start with Nioro, since she seems to be the most depressed right now. I'm gonna stop Mike from getting its way. Really? It's my father's wish. Was it? So don't worry, Dad. I thought your father's wish was to fix humanity and, what, and whatnot. What, what happened to that wish? <sighs> What's up, Nioro? Why the long face, huh? Well, my dad's my dad created the, the artificial intelligence that destroyed the world. You know, nothing much. It's just... I've been looking at this photo I took with my dad ages ago. My dad used to smile all the time. <laughs> he was so pretty when he smiled. <laughs> Who's that little pipsqueak? That's me. When I was seven. God, huh? what's with the glasses? You're yeah. wearing glasses? And? Well, what's wrong with that? They're they're almost as big as your head. <laughs> N nothing. Nothing's wrong with yeah, it, but... Yeah, anime characters... Well, first of all, anime characters have really big eyes, so their glasses are going to be even bigger. <laughs> you just look so it's almost com now. It's almost comical how big anime eyeglasses are. <laughs> because of my dad, I used to read loads of books. <laughs> so my eyesight got pretty bad. Yeah, we well, yeah, they're when they say they're Coke bottle lenses, they're they're not being they're not exaggerating. They're probably actual Coke bottles. <laughs> but what about now? I wear contacts now. I can barely see a thing without them. Huh? So you're another four eyes like Tatsun! Yeah, unless you want to be a one eye, I would stop. I would stop making, <laughs> stop insulting her. She's emotionally unstable right now. Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> Pochi, don't you like girls who wear glasses? No, <laughs> you've got it wrong. With or without glasses, I think you're amazing. Damn. <laughs> I figured you might say something like that. <sighs> <laughs> if we defeat my yeah, so just and ignore Kansai and keep flirting. I wonder if he'll smile like he used to. Mr. Pochi, are you okay? I punched an electrified fence. Yeah, so my arm's a little tingly right now. Mike is your master, so to speak. Aren't you afraid to fight it? No, not even slightly. Because I've got everyone with me, you included. I... I... Yeah, what are you exactly? <sighs> I don't know if I'll be of any use, but I'm gonna give it my all. Okay, fine. If we combine our forces, defeating Mike's gonna be a walk in the park. Mike's, like, put us through so many horrible things. It was all part of the plan. Everyone did you, did you not, did you miss the, the plan? Because it, it lasted forever. <laughs> they, they explained, he explained it, she explained it, it explained it forever. Hmm. I wonder. That really? thing about getting brainwashed in the pods. And it wearing off if we were in danger. Was that all a lie? Why did Mike lie to us about that? Oh no, why did the evil mo the evil villain lie to us? He How dare he? During the fate <laughs> game. He killed most of humanity and put the rest underground, alright? Anything evil at this point, I mean, why did he do anything? <laughs> Maybe it was hoping our powers would get away. It's part of the plan. Did you miss the plan? Let's go over the plan again. Hold on. It said that when our altruistic impulses reached their critical mass and erupted, we'd find our powers. Got it. So All part of the plan. If someone got into a tough spot during the fake game. Oh my god! I don't care what happens to me. I gotta like save them. Mike was probably expecting those kind of situations. Yeah, fight or flight response. Yeah, and maybe. you know, probably couldn't fly too much. Uh, this is super frustrating! Feels like Mike had us in the palm of its hand! Really? But not for much longer. This time, Mike's gonna be the one in our hands. 
Sure. Oh, right. You just wait, buddy. I'm sure he's not planning this, uh, planning us attacking him. <laughs> Lippity flop. This is not the time to be adorable. Now that Edge Lord, be edgy. Stage, my heart really pounding. You don't have a heart. Who said you could have a heart? Chump tried to use us. Get smart with us. I'm gonna make sure. How dare he be smart? To it. Once we defeat Mike, we can go back to living like we did before. Right? You are way too optimistic for someone who just heard the phrase "conform or die," basically from the artificial intelligence. Going to school together. Yeah, for sure. If, if there is a school, the case, I mean, if you want to go back to the school, go ahead. Go, <laughs> There's still plenty of right? robots there. Huh? The school trip. We can all visit Kamakura together. I'm pretty sure Kamakura got destroyed with everything else, but all right. So we're finally gonna make it into the enemy base. Yeah, I'm sure we won't be re we, 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 won't, we won't be met with any resistance of any sort. I'm sure ten kid, twelve kids can break in, no problem. Us. Just me trembling with excitement. And simultaneously destroying my pants. Defenders of justice <laughs> are daunted by evil. Mike referred to you as PCH01. It's my So body. does that mean there are more of them? PCH stands for <laughs> Plenipotentiary Chaperoning Humanoid. They're pretty long words, and I'm not entirely sure what they mean. But I think it means that I'm a human-shaped robot designed to observe and think for myself. The other robots are completely under Mike's control. Mike gave me the ability to make my own decisions. Why would he give you th that was all part of the plan. <laughs> Mike trusted you, didn't it? Yeah. It pro but not anymore. <laughs> I know that. All part of the plan. You may be a PCH <laughs> still, but the meaning has changed. Perfect champion friend. Sure. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I guess Tatsu. you can throw any letters on there at all. <laughs> <laughs> Pomegranate, coconut, heart, heart, uh, heart, heart, I don't know, I don't know, H, H, H word. <laughs> but friend begins with an F. <laughs> it's been a long journey, but it's almost over. Right, we're gonna die. I mean, Mike, we're gonna stop Mike. The thing Mike. that stole humanity's <laughs> spirit. It's almost over. <laughs> we're gonna defeat it ourselves and bring back joy to the world. I'll bet that's what my sister would have wanted, too. Again with the sister. You, got, you gotta find a way to throw that into every conversation, don't you? Hey, you're drinking a soda! My sister loved to drink soda. <laughs> you playing video games? My sister didn't like video games. Let's talk about my sister. <laughs> She's dead. Hey, Pochi. Mike called Rachel RCH. -E my sister had a similar nickname. That's Rachel's model number. <laughs> RCH stands for Radio Controlled Humanoid. I think that part's self-explanatory. E is for experimental. That's because Rachel was an experiment. Really? Rachel was controlled Experimentals by are experimental. He didn't um, yeah. have free will. Now. <sighs> and he broke. Are you blaming yourself? Hmm. <sighs> but if Rachel hadn't stepped in to save us, we might not have made it. Much like my sister didn't make it. Did I tell you about her? I'm gonna tell you about her. My beloved Hoseki Zuka Theater. Oh, girl, I mean, if it's not her sister, it's Hoseki Th Theater. He loved everyone. So everyone loved him. Pochi, let's take down Rachel's enemies. We can avenge him. And we can avenge my sister. If we do that, <laughs> who is <he'll> dead? Definitely. <sighs> yeah, I know. Tomorrow we face off against Mike, right? Yeah, like like a match, like a freaking boxing match or something. <laughs> yeah, we'll throw you in first, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll throw you in with your flamethrower attack. That'd be awesome. Just like freaking thrower, like with Rachel. Oh, right, we don't have Rachel anymore. Okay, we'll catapult her in, like, a and then just like be like blazing from the mouth, like a freaking comet. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You just wait, Mike. You scumbag. Cause we're gonna come find you and pummel you into the dust with a hundred kicks! Only a hundred kicks? I thought you hated this guy. If we save the world, <laughs> come on, kick more more heroes. kicks! <laughs> <laughs> so Mike said that Rachel was an experimental version, right? Yeah. He was built before me. He's a really old Really old model, really obsolete. <laughs> 
I'm the newer model. I have like a, I have like a longer battery life. My processor is better. Rachel, <laughs> and I got like point one gigabyte of more store internal storage. <laughs> Rachel is totally obsolete. Ah, so the fact Rachel never said anything. Yep, it's because he's an experimental model. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be talking. Rachel didn't have. No, nah, he was just really quiet. <laughs> He just didn't like talking to people. <laughs> ah. When we were fighting No, he just had nothing to say to you, really. He talked to everyone else. <laughs> but he never said a word. Pochi! Let's finish Mike off once and for all! That was awfully determined. I'm not gonna forgive anyone who upsets Nyoro! Oh dang, okay, that's why. So Hey guys! Can I ask you something? You just did. Going to take down Mike. That was a unanimous decision, right? Like, yeah, let's link, let's make sure everyone's on board with the plan but here. Where exactly is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, where are we going here? Now that you mentioned it. Oh yeah, now that you mentioned it, we don't have any idea the where thing we're going. I saw on the school roof seemed like an illusion, didn't it? I know where to go. To the moon. One of oh the no, wait, the X. <laughs> yep. Mike's mainframe is stored inside the Tokyo Panopticon. So we've got to get inside and destroy it. We can defeat Mike, right? Yeah. And at the same time, we should be able to deactivate the nanomachines inside everyone's brains. I, y you kids are 10 years old and you're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to get it. We're going to break into the Death Star. We're going to stop the, the exploding robots from there. <laughs> You guys are assuming an awful there. lot here. That's easy. We can get there in that. Obviously, the the oh, the, the right. one flying the ship UFO. that we have. Pochi. You know yeah, that's totally inconspicuous. No, not everything. I didn't know about Nero's father or the surgery in the pods. Sure, you did. Mike mentioned a subject, right? That was the first I'd heard about that too. The girl Mike was studying, right? Yeah. Anyway, the only things I knew about were the sheepification project, this trip, and Mike's whereabouts. I based my strategy on all the information I had. Strategy? A strategy for taking down Mike. <laughs> so he's had this the whole my time and he's just now telling us. to all go to the Panopticon together. With you all awakened and powerful after the journey. That was my plan. Oh, thank you for not telling us your plan. Everyone has freaking plans! Stop making plans! Start telling us the plan! That's why I needed your guys' strength. So I need you guys to almost die to help me. When you think about it, most Sorry. of the way my intentions were the same as Sorry Mike's. not telling you this earlier. I mean, I guess I could have told you all this earlier and saved everyone a bunch of time. We but both no. wanted to awaken <laughs> your special abilities. Wait, so you decided to disobey Mike before the trip even began, huh? Yeah. All the time I spent with you guys. <laughs> yes, all part of the plan. How should I say it? I realized how amazing humans were. Thank you, Pochi. Also, I had a huge crush on Yoro, and I couldn't kill all of you. <laughs> Eat up, Pochi! Looking forward to it, Pochi. And that's what's so cute about you, Pochi. Me and you, huh, Pochi? We're the same. Huh, Pochi? If you insist. I'll hold you to it. Pochi, you're so kind. I love your smile, Pochi. You're so pretty. <laughs> the reason I thought that was because you guys still had your emotions. That's when I realized I had to stop Mike's plan at any cost. <sighs> but why didn't you tell us the truth? Before? Right, thank you, voice. Thank you, smart guy. Well, for one, one smart guy, I didn't want Mike to group. find out. Mike said that it'd wipe out the human race if its plan failed. Uh, no, but... Oh, right, so if, yeah, if you told him, so if you talked, you everyone would have died. <laughs> but aren't you spilling the beans right now? Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, what if Mike heard us? Even if it did, it's no big deal. Yeah, I think we're past that. <laughs> At this stage, I don't think Mike would be I mean, so... We, we talked about all this enough. If, if, if we were going to die, we'd be dead by now. After all, it's gone to the trouble of awakening all your powers. That it all be for nothing, right? Oh yeah. A shepherd is nothing without a flock. Is that what you mean? So he's not yeah. gonna kill us because he thinks that we might still help him. But it. 
We've been saying we're gonna take down Mike. Right. Maybe, maybe we should. Maybe Mike should do something about Mike, that. <laughs> I'll handle it later. Us? They're just a bunch of kids. <laughs> Way too busy building Death Stars. At the very least, we'd lose the element of surprise. It's all part of the plan. Mike must have some <laughs> strong defenses set up. And what does that have to do with anything? If we combine our strength, we'll definitely be able to take down Mike. Yeah. We can win this. Totally. Let's win this thing together. Together, we're invincible. No, you're not. That scumbag Mike. You're very strong, but not invincible. We're gonna crush it. Just to make sure, we're gonna head to the Panopticon tomorrow, Yeah, right? let's get a good night's rest before we all die. Yeah. <laughs> we should get a good night's sleep before the final, or the final battle. battle. Sorry. Final battle. Huh? Looks like we're in for a tough fight. If we're not all in this together, it doesn't seem like we've got a chance. I think we need a strong leader. <laughs> Didn't we already decide that? How about Mike? He seems to be good at making plans. <laughs> That's oh dang. Leader battle. Yeah, well, Rachel's dead, so we can't really we can't really be a leader Neon anymore. In Kyoto, <laughs> I took the badge off. Why right? did you take the badge off? And I kept it safe. <laughs> I we'd be in trouble. Mm, I get what you're Thought saying. the badge belonged to him. So it's like, what? well, I guess he won't be needing. He won't be taking this with him. <laughs> you're the one who deserves to wear the Yoink. badge, Pochi. Huh? Rachel oh, saved the badge to Pochi time and time again. It was you controlling him all along. That's right. <laughs> In other words, we owe our lives to you, Pochi. Sure you do. You're Give me that badge. Hero, Mr. Pochi. Totally. You're the only one who can lead us. They're surprisingly unified There's right now for no kids. There's no one more qualified than you, Pochi. How about it? You gonna accept the role? Nah, we've already decided. He's got no right to refuse. <laughs> Can't refuse. Too bad. Guys. Dem democracy rules. Well, You're now the leader of the Go-Getters Take Club. the job or resign in disgrace. I present you with this badge. Oh, hey. <laughs> huh? I mean, we all saw this coming, right? Huh? <gasps> Man? <laughs> it's a gift for those times you saved us. Well deserved. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you guys just see that? Nero just. She just kissed Pochi on the no, cheek. No, we missed it. You're right. Yeah. So shameful! <laughs> totally disgraceful. How dare what you? What are you guys talking about? It's no big deal. You say that. But They're not even married yet. <laughs> well, it's a you think so too, right, Mochan? Oh yeah, Mochan. You like him, <laughs> don't you? Oh boy, just roll him into the ocean. <laughs> let him, let him iron ball this well, out. <laughs> putting Mochan to one side. Hey, <laughs> don't do that. Anyways, tomorrow is the big day. The day we take down Mike! Hey, Kansai, what are you doing trying, yeah, trying to wrap, wrap things, things up? up? Pochi's the leader now. We've literally just decided. Oh, yeah. All right, do the I'm thing. I'm on you, Pochi. Uh, okay. Do the well, thing. Then, here we go. Go Getters Club. Hey, hey, oh! Seriously, Kansai does it better. And that is going to wrap things up for tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned for more World's End Club videos. Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.